Right there, we're going to move on to another part. The piston. There is quite a few features in here. There's an oval shape feature um, in the centre here. It says to for two holes here, 440. To put two little 440 bolts to hold the gudgeon pin or wrist pin. Um, these are going to be M3 little um, grub screws, set screws. It's not going to have two ring grooves. I'm going to run Viton O-rings. So I'm just running the, running the one O-ring. Um, there's a bush to be made. Oh, sorry, little, little tiny pipe. Yeah, little tiny, tiny pipe that actually fits down in the piston here. That acts like an oiler. Drops, you'll see it later on anyway. Drops oil down onto the um, on the little end bearing. So, which is just there. Oh, no, it's not. It's in here somewhere. Anyway, we'll see that after. So, I've got a bit of good quality aluminium. Um, it's 873 on the outside diameter. Three quarter bore in it. Then the, the, um, the little oval shape in the guts, a couple of side holes, um, yeah, that's about it. So, may as well get in and build it. See if I can. See if I have to build it twice, so I can get away with building it once. One thing I will point out is this piston here is 0.873, so two thou under the um, the ball. My cylinder turned out at 877, so I'm going to take mine to 875 OD. So I just try and keep the same numbers, but just up a few, if you get what I mean. I chucked up in the vein here, so we're at inch 93. bit faster gear than that one. That one will do. Nine oh four. That weren't a bad truck. Nine oh fours. Let's use the nine hundred. Yeah, nine oh three. So we're looking for eight seventy five. What's your verdict, Doctor? She does not bad at 75. That's it. Her day's done. Grab the plans, have a bit more of a read, and we'll start doing the inside features. So what it, what we gotta do here, that slot that actually inside this cylinder inside this piston that the conrod sits in is three eighths of an inch wide. So I'm going to drill in um, that slot three quarters of an inch deep. I'm going to drill in to about 700 thou deep. Then I'll come in with a, um, a bottom cutting slot drill, three eight one, take it down to final depth. Then I can put the um, 
open up the back here which is a round bore forget the size of that but yeah you'll get you'll see it in a minute So this it's got a 38 three flute end mill. I'm gonna take it in three quarts an inch deep. How the hell do I get that mark on it? Seven forty nine. It's close enough for me. That'll do. Okay, I'll set up a boring bar now and we'll open this up. Open this up. There we have it. Um, now I guess it's over to the mill to cross drill and then put the um, open that three eighths into a slot. I almost forgot to put the groove in for the um, for the O ring. Now according to the spec sheet, the groove has to be 0.94 wide, so 94 thou wide, um, and 55 to 57 thou deep, so I'm going 56. <laughs> Hopefully that's right. But I might just go 55 and do a test fit and see what happens. I bought a new part and blade too. Good thing. Have we got the A ring on? Um so this, the groove is 94 thou wide, 55 thou deep. Put a bit of mood juice on there. Let's see if we can get this to go in without actually screwing anything up. I forgot to put a freaking chamfer on that end. Give me a minute. Okay. There we go, she's on. She's to be rolling back and forth, which is nice. So, I'll take that off now. Get that little polish. And, um, And then put it over in the mill and or well, part of it I've put it in the mill, put the cross hole, all that stuff in it, and that'll be done.
I'm going to pull this chuck off and put the collar chuck on so I can hold this because I left this 10 thou proud so I can take that off and face the end off nice and neat. I don't want to hold it in the jaws, it'll mark it for sure. Okay, so I've picked up off this edge and off this edge, come in half the diameter of the piston, picked up off this edge, I've come in 563 thou from that edge, and that's where a ream 3 16th hole is going to go. Okay, now we're going to change setups again, stand on its end and put that slot in there. And I believe the piston's finished. Oh, got to turn it 90 degrees and put that little hole in there for the oil hole, for the oil tube. So I'll we'll get it set up and um, move on. Okay, so here's the setup I'm using to put the slot inside the uh, piston got the ER40 collar chuck on the rotary table in the four jaw all clocked in I've put a, a new 3 16 drill bit or next to brand new um, come down and just swept it and then moved across done this side till they're reading the same so I know that's running true to the axis of the, the, the mill. So now I can do the, the slot long ways and just by using the, uh, the Y axis and I know it's, it's, it's running true. All I've got to do now is pick up the centre and um, yeah, pick up the centre of that, that hole with the end mill and I've got to work out what my offsets are each, each way. Okay, I've worked out I've got to travel 156 thou either way of centre to give me this 688 thou slot. If you get what I mean there.
hopefully that's our slot done nice neat and looking goddamn pretty yep so why it's in this setup I'll put the two tapped three millimeter holes to hold the uh, gudgeon pin or wrist pin That's done. Piston is complete. To my knowledge, the piston is complete. Which is a bloody ripper. I'll take it out and take it out of the bench and have a good look at it. small okay it's just what we ended up with there's that little tiny brass tube oil tube 1.5 millimeter hole um, it's got a 94 thou or 330 seconds I think it is 330 seconds out of diameter um, two m3 set screws to hold the wrist pin in, gudgeon pin, and um, put a bit of WD 40 on there, it slides very, very easy. So, really happy with that. So far, so good. So, the next thing will be the uh, Conrod.